Am I the only one that has a mic that's unmuted right now? Yep, until now. But that's okay. Am I the only one that has a mic that's unmuted right now? I thought I shut that thing off. Plus, you're the only one that has their YouTube volume on. <laughs> I thought I shut that thing off. It's okay. It happens. Hello, Adam. Hello, Carol. Hey, Hello. Paul. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone in YouTube land. It's been a while. It has been a while. Too long. Uh, I guess... I was on the other night just for um, 30 minutes, only because I was on everybody's chat and people kept telling me, oh, hold on, can I, can I zoom in? Ooh, you're gonna scare me, Paul. Um, <laughs> I was on a lot of people's chat, just saying hello and stuff. And, you know, then they, where have you been? How have you been feeling? What's going on? When are you going to do another auction? So I figured, let me just go on and say hello. So I went on. And the rest is history. Uh, the faster people come in, the faster we buy treasures. Mm. Good outlook. I like that. So let's see, we got Carol in the house. Hi, Carol from Rhode Island. How's the weather in Rhode Island today? Hot and sticky. Like, like what's hot to you? Uh, 72? No, 72 is breezy. Um, it's got to be up in the 80s, I think, today. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's like 95 here. They said what the humidity and everything feels like 105, and I believe it. What's it like in North Carolina, Adam? It is the most beautiful weather ever. We have wonderful um, sunny skies, uh, and it's probably 85, but it's awesome, folks. Come on down to North Carolina. Experience nice. it all. Nice. Well, it's hot as hell here in God's waiting room, so... Um, <laughs> Melissa Cape in the house. Hi, Melissa. Very cool hey, picture. Melissa. Very cool picture, Melissa. Get NASCAR man in the house. What's going hey, on? NASCAR man. Oh, and NASCAR man's close to you, um, Carol. He's in Rhode Island. No way. Yes, we be neighbors. Yeah, <gasps> they may go to the same grocery store. <gasps> yeah. I might I drive by his house every day. I wonder if the inn is still open in Rhode Island. I forget what city it's in. Warwick, maybe, or Warwick. something. The prime rib was so big, it was laying off the plate. Um, so we would that's drive. Flintstones. What was that? That's the Flintstones. The, yeah, that's it. Yes. We used to take the bone back home for our dog and actually finish the prime rib the next day. Ooh, Paradise, how are you? And she loves the dog. Yeah, I put Maddie in the video last night. I asked Maddie a couple of questions. Hey, Record Crate, what's happening? Hey, hey. Jennifer Hayes in the house. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. And Hi, Tarvin. Jennifer. Tarvin hey, in the house. From Rhode Island. Uh, NASCAR man says the Bassett enclosed. The, the basket. Oh, the, the Bassett. Um, the Bassett. Bassett, 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 Bassett in. Bassett huh? in is closed. Oh, closed. Oh, lousy. That yeah. would have to be the best prime rib I ever had. We would drive an hour and a half from the house just to go. But anyway, we got some people in the house. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Um, I know I put a, a, um, a message out there last night that we were going to come on today. And then Friday, we have our pop culture auction coming up with my buddy John from Federation Comics. NASCAR man wants to know what city you're in, Carol. 
I'm in the bucket. Pawtucket? Pawtucket the bucket. Yep. Some okay. people don't like that. But hey, too bad. Okay. Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Buying Space. How are you? Uh, I know in the video and everything it said that I was going to come on at three. Uh, and even and NASCAR man says he's in East Providence. You're right over the line. Um, the video I put out said I was going to come on at three. And even Maddie said, you know, tell everybody you're going on at three. So and then I totally forgot that Adam's exploits was on at three. And um, I didn't want to step on his toes. So I just delayed it until four. For I like Adam. We I've been on Adam's show now a couple of times. Yeah. So I decided to change it to four, and the rest is history, as they say. Um, West Side Gary in the house. Melissa Cape, you know I still have your box here, right? January House. Hey everybody, subscribe to January. Subscribe to each other. But January House had an auction last night that was pretty cool. Um. He auctioned off his personal collection of uh, 17 magazine pinups. You know, when you were a kid, you bought 17 magazine and they had the pinups of all like Scott Bayo and everything. He I auctioned saw the Kirk Cameron. He, Kirk Cameron, yep. Uh, yeah. Scott Bayo, all those. He, he auctioned off his personal collection. I think, oh, he, I think the stack was like that thick. Um, but he doesn't Kirk auction. Kirk, you know. days. What was that? Don't forget El Camino 71. El Camino 71 in the swamp. In the yep. swamp. It feels like it's in the swamp here, boy. That's for sure. Yeah. West Side Gary. Did I say hello to West Side Gary? Hello, West Side Gary. Buying space. I'm in the sauna. I think she's in Florida also. Uh, it is hot as hell here already. Lisa C. Uh, Westside Gary, did that guy in the gaming chair look unusual short to you? I've never seen much space in the gaming chair. Ah, okay. Lisa C is plus. here. Uh, Westside Gary, I got my first auction on my channel on 620. You have to put a link in, Gary. I, too, am trying to come up with a schedule I, it looks like i'm going to keep doing the pop culture ones on friday afternoon and um i'm trying to get one more, more during the week and then i've been researching this uh hybrid i don't know if anybody uses hybrid Hi. but my, my hybrid h-i-b-i-d dot com uh-huh a friend of mine is an auctioneer here locally and he does it, and he's been talking to me about it. Um, they say that you should put like 200 items, 150 minimum to about 200 items up. It lasts for a week. It's on their site. It, the um, the fees are up there because you're gonna pay for the auctioneers license and all this other doodads, but you get more people to look and they handle everything they handle the processing um and it seems to be really cool i was listening to grimes finds and i know he does one i put it in the chat i know he said he does two a month on there so he must make his last every two weeks uh, oh, wonderful. Watch me sew creations. She says, hi, bit is awesome. I get quite a bunch of my inventory from different auctions on that site. Okay. For a buyer, that sounds awesome. For, for a seller, that sounds awesome. <laughs> because we want to get a higher price. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would do it too. That's like max sold in this country. <laughs> in this country, max sold is um, they're like they haven't advertised enough or whatever. So stuff goes for a couple of bucks. I think my son got a couch 
a reclining couch with uh, subwoofers built in, the theater couch. I think he got three of them that go together for like five bucks. It was ridiculous. It just, just crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, but that's cool. That is cool. And uh, if you haven't, I know I put this in the, in the comment section, sign up for my email. I started to send out my emails um, on the 22nd and the 23rd for all you people that want to sell on Amazon, but are a little bit afraid, a little bit nervous, a little bit see that it's a daunting task. I have inventory lab coming on. I've been using inventory lab and I'm telling you it makes selling on Amazon a breeze. So they're coming on. And um, I just talked to Chris the Goose about coming on with me because Sandy and I are under contract on our rental house. So we had to do an estate sale. And I don't know how these guys or these teams or these companies do this week after week. What a task doing an estate sale. So I wanted to, I wanted to talk to Chris about that because going to them is one thing. But when you have to do one yourself, um, it's a chore. It is a chore. So I wanted to talk to him about that. But I'm looking for more guests and all that stuff. So Adam, I've talked enough. Adam and Carol, what's happening on your plate? Well, I'm curious to know how close Adam and NASCAR man are to each other. Adam and NASCAR man? No, no, Carol and NASCAR man. Carol and Carol muted herself. Was it NASCAR man from Providence or? Yep, East Providence. Carol, you have to unmute your mic. He's in You're East right, Providence. East, yeah, East, East Providence. Providence. Yep. Yeah, Hello, just up the road. Like a mile yeah. or two? Uh, probably well, I think close. Depends on where in East Providence he is. The Probably. whole state of Rhode Island is only like five miles. Oh, stop it. It is not. <laughs> I mean, you go on 95, uh, if you had a soda or something, not even a soda, if you had a little uh, cappuccino or an espresso, you know, those little, little cups, if you started at one border, you could finish it by the time you got to the next border of Massachusetts. No. Oh, nice. <laughs> no. From Connecticut to Massachusetts, it's probably six miles. No, two hours. No, two hours. I walk hours away once. Well, it depends on how you, much you put your pedal to the metal. <laughs> right, NASCAR man. So I'm confused. Is it two miles or two hours? I don't think it's two hours. I think I could get through Rhode Island and forty-five in minutes. Bed. Right, NASCAR man, I'm wrong. Thank you yeah. for correcting me. That's cool. Yeah. Eagle Heart Sales, uh, how you doing? Hello, flipping flamingos. So I've been five minutes. You think so, man? I must. I mean, <laughs> I must go too fast then. Hell yeah. I've been doing okay. Um, got my website up and going. I'm back to coffee and coffee and. Coffee and vinyl in the mornings. Uh, still working 12, 14, 16 hour days and just yeah, trying man. to make it happen, folks. And, uh, you do pay the you This is for Lisa C. I'm sorry, Paul. So you, you do put the hours in. I know that. I do. I do. You definitely do put the hours you in. But do that's what you gotta commitment. Do. Right. That's commitment. That's your work ethic. And that's great. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. So there we go, folks. Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to the looking forward for brighter days. I'm surprised you're not bald. Long hours, three stores. <laughs> okay, I wonder. It's longer than yours now, Paul. Yeah, I know. I've been, I've been this way since 16. Carol, I'm catching up with you too. Yeah, I gotta get mine caught. If you do, it might you be shorter. Paul, bold men are sexy, so don't let anybody ever tell you different. Yeah, I just cut it again yesterday. It was going a little yeah. shaggy. 
And now I'm aggressively searching for records, so I'm seeking out the online auctions that have records. Um, the thing that scares me most is uh, condition, condition, and the way they're inspected and presented. So that scares me. Sometimes I'm willing to pay a lot of money, and I have. I've paid hundreds of dollars for rec for a record, um, but it's all about you know how it's presented and the condition. Yeah. Um, two things. One about that, but Melissa, you didn't have to do that. I, cause I did put a note and I do this on my auctions. <gasps> you want to wait until another auction so I could put more in the box and save on shipping. That's no problem. I don't mind that. Um, I was just saying that I have it there last night on January houses auction. He was selling some albums and I know you were in there, Adam, and maybe this is good information for the crowd here too. He was asking about some al record albums that have a scratch. Is there any way to fix that? And then I, I, I don't know what happened. Either I went to bed or something. I didn't, I didn't see it. Is there any way to fix a scratch in a record? Are you ask I'm sorry, you asking me or, or Melissa? No, I was asking the, the record expert in the house. There is you know, <laughs> got a mark on it that's there forever. It's there forever, uh, a mark is. Uh, so there are some people that get a microscope out and, and they they take the mark and they take a needle, if you would, like a sewing needle, and they and they clear the channel so that the stylus would pass through it. But, you know, there's potential damage for your stylus. And, you know, when you put on a $300 stylus, you just don't want to throw anything on there. And the whole idea with we're listening to records is that we want them to sound good. Right. So, so there we go. Wow. Okay. I wasn't sure about that. And NASCAR man says he's going to a, a I guess it may be an estate sale on Friday that has a ton of records. Maybe you guys should connect. I would be Where's interested. Please None of your business there, Carol. You get your own estate sale house yeah. addresses. <laughs> and, and I'm not picking on anyone, Paul. It's just in general. I mean, I, I buy it from dozens of people a year. And what is uh, it you, on your uh, album and vinyl, coffee and vinyl, is it? Coffee and vinyl? You, coffee uh, and vinyl, yes, sir. Yeah, you, had a, you had a couple of, uh, on your links, it said buyback. What's a buyback? Yeah. What is you, that? You know, records are purchased. They're, they're loved. And then uh, oh, you so buy you, them back. You buy you them back buy from your customers. Not necessarily that they purchased for me, but just in general to buy back. Uh, uh, Jay Murray House okay. had a question. And uh, I, I yep. And I hope nobody in the audience is getting bored. There's just a couple of things. It's been two weeks since I've been on, so there's a couple of things I've been at, wanting to ask. Yeah, but sure. yeah, January. Uh, yeah. Um, so if the record skips, it's basically trash, right? No. Uh, because records can jump. Records can repeat, and uh, there you go. And so there's lots of factors uh, with that. Um, January House, we probably should do an Instagram video chat, and because uh, there was something I want to reach out that you mentioned in your auction last night that I was like, hmm. So yeah, we probably should do that. So th there's lots of things. It could be the tracking of the turntable. It could be the the stylus. It could be. A cleaning issue and Gary said uh, Tom will be on my channel on 620 selling hundreds of records I don't know who Tom is I actually don't know who, half the people's names anyway um, hello who did I miss Tamara Tamara hopefully you saw that Tammy. I, I, Tammy, hey, Tammy. I, just, I just noticed this is still on my desk that I have to get to you. So, Wait a second, Gary. Who is Tom and why wasn't I invited? What's going on here? Oh, Tom Cruise is my name, is Tom. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Um, well, the only other thing that I'm working on is... I know I spoke to NASCAR man. I spoke to my buddy John about it. Um, 
way back, I used to promote collectible shows where I would, would you know, hire the hall and the tables and everything and sell out the tables and all that stuff. Um, I did small shows to really big shows like at the Bayside Expo Center in Boston. I am going to do, I own the Sunday Funnies comic convention name. Um, I'm going to do the Sunday Funnies online comic book convention. I'm going to schedule it for July. I'm having a, a logo design for it right now because I don't want to do it myself. And if you know anybody or if anybody, I know NASCAR man's interested. If anybody knows anybody that deals in any kind of pop culture stuff that you would find at a comic book convention. I don't care if it's even baseball cards, uh, non-sports cards, uh, I guess record albums if they dealt with movie scenarios and stuff, themes. Um, but then records uh, would be good anyway. Um, posters, comics, toys, all that stuff. And I'll be putting that in my email also. So why don't we get started with an auction? Sure thing. Sounds good to me. You want to go first, Adam? I can go first. Uh, I, I'm doing a buy it now, folks, uh, on these CDs. Thank you, Paul. All right. Uh, on wait, the give, me one, give me one second, Adam. I'm sorry. Anybody in the chat have any questions on anything? at all just type it in the chat did you want to tell them about registering with you is that is that your is that your registering with you uh shipping shipping is added at the end so if you buy one two three five items it all goes into a box at the end your box will be weighed, measured for destination, and then you're charged that shipping charge. No more, no less. So hopefully that saves you a lot of money. I personally can ship international. I guess everybody, I don't know if everybody wants to, but uh, just ask. But I can ship and will ship internationally if asked. Very good. Please register. All you need is to send me an email. Get in touch with Adam. Get in touch with Carol. We need your contact info. They'll put their email addresses in also. We need your contact info, name, address, your email address, and your PayPal ID. Usually they're both the same. That way we can send you an invoice. A lot of times I invoice from Square, but I don't have a problem invoicing from PayPal. It's just easier for me with Square. All, All right. right. Very good. All right. Here we go, folks. Thanks for coming. Hey, I should have had this in the uh, in the comments. but uh, So what I'm doing is a buy it now. Uh, so it's a buy it now. Oh, boy. Buy it now. CDs, and they're $3 each plus shipping. Yeah, so here we go, folks. So if there's anything you're interested in, just chime in. The first person that shows up on Paul's display will will be able to get it. All righty. Um, Rod Stewart, tonight I'm yours. Now, folks, I've inspected all of these visually. So I make sure that they look incredibly cool so that they there should not be any problems at all with the playback. This is Clint Black. And these will be qualifying for shipping media. This is Steve Winwood. Uh, this is ZZ Top, the Eliminator. Uh, this is Phil Collins, Collins, no jacket required. This is Stevie Wonder. This is Dwight Yoakam. This is Elvis Golden Records. This is the Black Crows. Don't you just love glare? I love glare. This is Journey's Greatest Hits. This is uh, Eric Clapton. I think this is called self-titled. Eric Clapton, Eric Clapton. Uh, this is the best of Eric Clapton. It's called Time Peace. This is Fleetwood Mac. And this is their uh, Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac record. 
Lady Antebellum. They might be giants. Um, and Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry's uh, The Great 28 Songs from Chuck Berry. So there you go, folks. If anyone's interested in anything, just try, uh, put it in the chat, and then uh, we can go from there. That's it? That is, that's what I'm showing this time. Okay. All right, Miss Jewelry Designer. <gasps> is it my turn? Yep. <laughs> what am I, how much, how yeah, many am I, I your camera how many is, am I showing? Is it you buy it now or? Whatever you want to do. You, I just want to say though, your camera is fantastic right now. <gasps> Why, thank you, Paul. Hmm. But if you're not ready, if you want me to go. Just no, I'm ready. How much? Actually, I'm on my next segment. But. All right. I have. All right. I have bracelets. Um. I have. Uh, silver stars. Let me do it this way. This way. Okay. It's a silver star, and it's done, uh, stones on both sides. There's a purple bangle that is a stretchy with big bangles. There's a bracelet with a lobster claw and a lot of little strands of very fine, fine strands of, of gold. And then a uh, purple stretchy bracelet and it says believe on one side and Corair, I don't know what language that is. C-R-O-I-R-E, could be French, could be anything. Uh, you wanna do an auction? It's up to you, Carol. All you right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start them at three dollars. Three dollars for choice. Yep. All right. And, and this one with the stars is so JSJC from Coles. It was ten dollars. There we go. That's yeah, awesome. Yes, Jay, absolutely. Thanks for uh, reaching out. I've seen your show before. I'm just talking to somebody that's watching on Facebook. Um, $3 choice plus shipping for choice on the bracelets. And The, the gold strand one is eight inches. Very, very dainty. See all the strands? There we go. They're very pretty, very dainty. Okay. Guess we can pass that. All right. You have something else? Oh, I got tons of stuff. <laughs> I have some pins. Then I'm gonna start at two dollars. All right. I have a, a black. Oops, this way. A black pin with gold and and little rhinestones on either side. And then I have a pretty rose. This you said is two dollars. Uh, choice? Yeah. Unless somebody wants to bid and somebody wants if like two people want it, then we can get an auction going. This is a very antique heart with a little pearl on and it's probably a faux pearl. And then the fourth pin says Forever friend, a oh, friends forever, and it's a little birdhouse. It's still on its card. 
with birds. So, if anybody. Anybody interested? All this choice on the pins. Anyone interested? Anyone? Okay. Rough crowd, rough crowd. Ooh, I think they're sleeping. No, nope, Melissa Cape's in it too. Two, Melissa. I didn't, I didn't check to see how bad the lag was either. Yeah. And the chat is dead. LOL, Lego man. Yes. We'll get it up there. We'll get it up there. And the chat's dead. Come on, let's liven this party up. Don't tell me I got to get on the table and do a little coyote ugly. Because it can get oh. ugly. <laughs> okay. Anybody else want to come in? All right, Sue Ann, I got your registration. Um, Melissa's in a two. Any advance over two for a choice of the pins? Uh, Carol, do me a favor. Just wave your hand and, and just wave your hand across the pins. That's good. Now put it down. One, two, three, four, four. five, six, seven. Oh. Seven second um, delay. Yeah. That's not, not too, too bad. bad. Not too bad. I'll take it. It's better than All a 30 right. second delay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. All right. We got Melissa in at two. Do you want to call it at two? Yeah, let's call it at two. All right. Which any one? advance over two? We're going to let uh, Melissa grab it. Grab choice. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. That's enough for the lag. 2, 1. All right, Melissa. Which one or ones would you like, Melissa? <laughs> Melissa, let us. Uh, I would like the Rose and Friends Forever. Friends Forever. And the rose. Would anyone else like one of the other pins? Anybody else interested in the others? Two dollars each. Anyone? Anybody? 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 Okay. All righty. If you there are. Goes. If you are, she has them. Just put it in the chat if you're interested. Yep. All right. I'm going to do my first. I have this set. It looks to be a complete set. Friendlies. Remember Friendlies? We don't have the last one we had here closed not too long ago. Friendlies. Uh, focus. Hocus Focus. Time Warner Friendlies, 1995 Flair, Professional Baseball. This is, um, what's the team? The Orlando Cubs. I guess this is the whole team of the Orlando Cubs. I'm going to start this at $2 for the whole thing. Nineteen ninety five, Orlando Cubs, Southern League, Class Double A affiliate Chicago of the Chicago Cubs. Chicago only when you push it. I don't see anybody laughing at that one. Orlando Cubs. Any interest? Two dollars for the whole set comes in the bag and everything, or whatever you call the pouch. Uh, hello, Mike Newsom. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Thank you for coming in, everybody. Jennifer Hayes. 
Next time you make a comment, you should be blue. Anybody interested? The whole set here, Orlando Cubs Friendlies 1995 Baseball. Any interest? Anybody interested? Anybody interested at a dollar start? I want to move merchandise today. Anybody interested in one thin dollar? Start your box now. Excellent, Jennifer. Anybody interested? Anybody? 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 How about this? How much is shipping? It depends on what you get, Mike. Um, the good, the best example I could make last week, five pound box, uh, 14 by 12 by 10 from here to what's it called? Uh, it was Pacific coast highway. I forget the city in California was 1120. So that gives you an idea. We just charge shipping for what the shipping is. So if this is all you get, I could put this in a stay flat. A stay flat is a large cardboard envelope, and it would probably cost $3.20. So it is to your benefit to purchase lots of merchandise. But how about this? Nobody's interested in a dollar. Let's add this Emerson clock radio at two dollars now. How's that? Anybody want this? Both of these pieces, two dollars. Anybody? 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 Like I said, I want my goal today is to move merchandise. And I do have some large items that I want to put up. Large, heavy items. Anybody. All right. How about this? It's not new, but there is the paperwork for it with the remote control, with the audio video cable, a Sony DVD player. How about we do $5 for all three pieces? Anybody now? Anybody interested? Five dollars, all three pieces. Anybody? Like I said, uh, my goal here is to move merchandise. Five dollars, all three pieces. Sony DVD, CD, DVD player. There's the instruction manual. Um, as you know, I had a rental house, so every room in the house had one of these and one of these. Uh, these, of course, were probably a year old. These a little longer. These are from 1995. $5, all three pieces. Um, I am serious. I will take the first person that puts in the chat $5. You have it. You bought it. $5. First person that puts $5 in the chat, yours. Have to move merch. Anybody, anybody? And a hush. We'll wait for the seven-second lag to go through. To the people just now hearing my offer that I said, and they're saying, is this guy crazy? What the hell is he doing? He's giving away the farm. I can't believe it. This guy, source from paradise, says this guy is serious. He's deranged. He's a certified maniac. I can't believe it. So nobody's interested. We're going to pass it. All right. Adam. Hey, 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 um, I'm, a, hey, I'm doing a, a buy it 
uh, no, I'm not doing about now. We're going to do some DVDs, and it's we're going to start with five dollars plus shipping. So we're looking for a five dollars starting bid, and then it's going to be shipped media mail. So there you go. So I'm going to show you what I have. I have these. I have Naked Lie. I have Perfect Stranger. Ice Castles. Presumed Innocent. Presumed Innocent. That's Harrison Ford. Uh, Birth of a Nation. I think this is... Uh, I think it's like a um, documentary. Uh, Resurrecting the Camp. That's Samuel L. Jackson. Troy, Myth or Reality. I think that's a documentary. Uh, Makers, Women Who Made America. Yeah. Rendition. Um, organic One Head Surfacing. Secrets of the Code. And I'm sure this is the uh, new feature of full... Uh, film based on the best-selling book. I'm sure it has to do with the Da Vinci Code. Um, ooh, this is Circus Lole. Circus Lole. Uh, this is Motherhood. Who is that lady? Who's Oman Thurman? I like Pulp Fiction. Uh, the Master of Disguise. Baby Mama. Meet the Spartans. Oh, is this comic related? Should I say that for the Comic Con? The know. Haunted Airman. The Mummy. Play If You Dare, The Midnight Game. Half Light, Demi Moore. And. The Haunting of Marston Manor. Yeah, so there we go, folks. $5 starting bid. If you're interested, just chime in. If not, you can just put chat, a uh, pass in the chat and move on to something else. But it's $5 plus shipping for all these wonderful, exciting hours of entertainment. Any, wow. Anybody interested, $5 to start for the whole pack of DVDs. Anyone interested? If nobody's interested, just hit pass. $5 for that stack of DVDs is a fantastic price. You are exactly right, Lisa. You can enjoy these for many years to come. Anybody, all we need is a bid or a pass, please. Want to move this along because we have tons of stuff to go through. Tons, tons, tons. And we have to move it along. Do you have anything else, Adam, you want to show? I don't have anything uh, at the moment. Uh, Lego Man passed. And so right. thank you so much, folks. I did to... trademark it, uh, Lisa. Thank you so much for that suggestion. But yes, I did trademark it. That's right. If you didn't have a DVD player, you could have bought one from me. I'll bring it up again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Can you pass, Adam? Yes, yes. All right. You ready, Carol? You're muted again. I just, I sure am. 
All righty. Earrings, $3 a pair. Winner's choice plus ship. Did I do that right? Are these, yep. Are these a buy it now? $3 a pair? Yep. Okay. $3 a pair. Buy it now. Unless you want to do an auction. These first ones are purple. It looks like blue. There we go. That's a better color. Purple. Then these are green stones. And they I don't know what they call these earrings that are like a hook, but then it closes. Wait. I can't. I I can't. There we go. I don't none of mine are like none of mine are like that. I don't know what they called. None of yours are like that? <laughs> none of mine. I like that. And I can't ask Sandy. She's outside right now. Same thing. Um she says there's an earring that you can use come here for a second. Oh there, Sandy. No. Not yet. What do you mean you look like? Sit, wait a minute. Oh. You're not on camera. It's all right. Go ahead. Show her. <laughs> These earrings that they clap. Oh, see the one closed? So once that's yeah. in your ear. Okay, it's a lock. That's it? Just a lock? Yeah, it's a locking earring. It's a locking earring. Oh, oh good. Thank you, Sandy. You're welcome. Then we have the crystal ones. And then green dragonfly ones that I made. Wow. That's very Actually, cool. I made those. I think I made them all. Yeah, I definitely made the purple ones. Wow. These? Yep, three dollars a pair. Those are pretty. Anybody want any? Are they the same color? Yeah. Okay. Anybody interested? Three dollars a pair. Buy it now. Carol's Designs earrings. One of a kind designs. Well, I can duplicate them. <laughs> Sometimes she does stutter when she makes jewelry. <laughs> Anybody interested? We have a rough time today. We have how a about two dollars a pair does anybody want to take a bid on two dollars a pair uh oh where's source from paradise carol is serious two dollars a pair anybody interested at two dollars a pair flat buy it now put in two dollars if you're interested or forever hold your peace those green ones are pretty And I, don't, the crystal. I don't think any of them would go with my beard. No? No, I think I'm a, I don't, I don't think I would ever have my ear pierced. I was thinking about getting my nose pierced and then I got sick. <laughs> oh, could never. Okay, so I guess we're going to pass. All right. No one's interested. We have to build up the crowd. We have to build up the excitement. Don't make me get up here and do Coyote Ugly. <laughs> it can get ugly. <laughs> oh, buying space is in a three. Wow, the lag can't be that bad. What? I guess the lag is worse than what? I don't know. I know it's worse for some more than others. Okay, anybody else? Fun fact about the January house. I once had my tongue pierced. Ooh. My son went away to uh, with the, the army to uh, protect the Olympics. And he came back with his tongue pierced. And I almost Ooh. ripped it out of his face. I said, is that the type of stuff they teach you in the army? I couldn't believe it. But anyway, buying space, $3. Hello, Lady Antique Treasures. Hello, Lady Antique Treasures. Thanks for coming. 
We are okay. doing. We're going to go once. We're going twice. We're going three times. To buying space. Which one or ones would you like? Myra, just put in the chat which pair or pairs of earrings you would like. The purple, the green stones, the crystal, or the green dragonflies. And they got little designs on the, the body of the dragonfly. Uh, record crate. No, my tongue hole closed up, but I can probably still get earrings in my ears. Oh, purple and green dragonfly. The purple, the two ends. Yep. Okay. Right. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Carol, put your email in the chat, please. I will. I was going to do that. Team Modern Car. Hello. Welcome. How do I bid you? Let's see if I have, uh, yes, it's still in my, um, right there. Thank you for coming in, Team Modern Car. Okay, I just put it in. All righty, so I'm up. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do some clothing. I have this hoodie, of course, it's from Disney. So it's Mickey, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto images on it. It's a blue hoodie. And the next question people are going to ask, have you put up your fish jewelry again? A uh, question for Carol in the chat. Disney Direct. Pre-shrunk, extra ledge, Disney Direct, pre-shrunk, extra large. I'm going to start this at $2. Who is interested? Let me see if I can get back here a little bit more. Extra large hoodie, Disney, long sleeve, really uh, no damage on it. $2 start. Very clean, very nice, pre loved. Any interested? Two. Two dollars to start on the fleece hoodie, the Disney fleece hoodie. Anyone interested? $2 start. The Disney hoodie. Anybody? If not, we'll pass. Okay, we're going to pass. 
Let's see. 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 I have this fleece. This is an extra large sport tech by Port Authority. This one I would have to start at 10. And I'll show you why in a second. Very nice. No damage, but for all you Star Wars fans, here's the exciting part. This is from Skywalker Ranch. So if you're a Star Wars fan, what other way to blow your friends away than to uh, wear a fleece, pull over, well, actually, it's a jacket. From Skywalker Ranch. This would have to be like a Star Wars um, collector's dream. It is extra large. Skywalker Ranch. I don't think they would. Um, yes, I have plenty, Tamara. Tamara. I don't think they would make these available in the store. But very nice condition. No rips, no tears. Like I said, this would have to be the ultimate. I would have to start it. NASCAR man at at 10 um this would have to be like the ultimate star wars uh piece for a star wars collector anybody interested skywalker ranch Anybody? If no one's interested, just hit pass. Like I said, this is a nice piece for a Star Wars collector. This came out of my own collection. Yes. Full zipper jacket. Two pockets, zipper up jacket, extra large, long sleeves. I am probably crazy for getting rid of it, but all right, we got Eagle Heart at 10, January House at 12. Any advance over 12? Any advance? We got uh, Eagle Heart at 15. 15 looking for 17. 15 looking for 17 on the Skywalker Ranch fleece jacket. We got 15 looking for 17. January House is at 17. Looking for 19. We got January House. At 17, looking for 19 on the fleece jacket.
You got Eagle hard to 20, looking for 22. 20, looking for 22. We got Eagle hard at 20, looking for 22. Twenty two. Yes, we do have a horse race. Uh, some and some. Does that make sense? Sourced. I'm going to do some today and I'll do some on Friday. Tell me what you're interested. I know uh, Lego was interested in some Legos. Lego man was interested in some Legos. Tell me what you're interested in from the video, and I'll bring it up. I just brought over here a few parcels of what I had. Get January House of 22, looking for 24. Eagle is out. Anybody want to come in at 24, or we're going to call it to January House? Going to do a 10-second... Oh, yeah, sourced. Just tell me what you're interested in from the video, and I will bring it over, and we'll go from there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we are sold. So this is Skywalker Jacket. Thank you, January House. All right, I'm going to bring Adam back. I know Adam was having some technical difficulties. Hey, thanks. Uh, all of a sudden, I couldn't hear anything, Paul, so I went and grabbed another computer so I can restart my uh, my iMac, but I'm on the portable. Okay. Computer. Uh, so, um, yes, January house, I will invoice you. Yeah. So here we go. I, um, okay, cool. I, uh, sorry about that folks. Uh, so I got a, a video game lot and we're looking for a starting bid of $5 and it's plus shipping, shipping. Um, yeah, there we go. I think I can ship these media mails. Okay. I cannot ship media mail. Okay, great. Okay, so here we go, folks. I'm going to show you what I have, and then uh, we can go from there. All right. <laughs> this is for Xbox. 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 This is for Xbox 360. Yes, Xbox 360. Xbox 360. Xbox 360. Xbox 360. And uh, Xbox 360. So here we go, folks. We're looking for a starting bid of uh, $5 for these plus shipping. So here you go. If you're interested, just key it in. If not, you can just key in pass. Looks like we have January House for $5. We're looking for a, uh, a $7 bid. $5 uh, is a current bid by January House. Eagle Heart Sales comes in at $7. Uh, we're looking for 9 Eagle Heart Cells is in seven. We're looking for a bit of nine for these wonderful, gorgeous video games. I'll show you again what I have. Okay. How's the condition? They've all been inspected visually. I don't have any of the game systems to play. So Westside Gary, they all look fantastic. And uh, so there you go. 
uh, based upon my inspection, I don't think there's going to be a problem at all. Uh, of course, these came out of a store that I emptied, so they all have uh, retail stickers on them from that store, but I emptied this crazy 10 foot, 10,000 square foot uh, store a couple years ago. So how long will the inventory last me? I've been selling off of it for two years. So, okay, here we go. I'm going to show you again. Gary, if you were to buy them and you had a problem playing them, you're more than welcome to uh, reach back out to me. Okay, we got January house at 10. We're looking for a bid of $12. Thank you, Gary. I got a current bid of $10. We're looking for 12 folks for these wonderful classic video games. They're for the Xbox and for the Xbox 360. Isn't that a cool car? I think mine's cooler. There you go. Yeah. Sometimes I just sit here and pick and pull these off. But the cool thing is that these uh, um, stickers and these labels, all you have to do is remove the disc, get your hair dryer. They come off just like that. Yeah. So we've got a current bid of $10, and we're looking for $12 for these wonderful video games. And so, uh, and then, of course, it's plus shipping. Hi, Maricha. Thanks for coming in. How many games total, Adam? I don't know. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten games, folks. And your bid is ten. Your high bid is ten. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Paul, I don't have a problem with all of you bidding, so please feel free. I to just don't think it's right. I would bid. I would definitely bid. I just don't think it's right. I mean, if any, if no one has a, you know, Westside Gary's in a twelve. Um, I just don't think it. But I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, let me just pause this for a second. Everybody, I know Adam said it in the past, but I don't think he says it often enough. He will do a Facebook um, buying thing with you. If you virtual call, shopping, absolutely. Vir virtual shopping. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. Shop from your house, go through the stuff with him. He'll give you prices and everything. I think that is. A fantastic idea, and I, I at these prices, man, I have to do it with them. But anyway, Westside Gary's in at twelve dollars. Yeah, so it works great with Facebook. It works great with a uh, uh, Facebook video, Instagram video, FaceTime, Skype. Um, even can do Streamyard. Yeah. All right, uh, we've got a current bid of twelve dollars. We're looking for fourteen. January house comes in at fourteen. Uh, we're looking for a bid of 16. We currently have 14, so we're looking for 16. Um, don't make me regret not putting these on eBay, people. Yeah, or Amazon. Yes. I have a ton ready to go to Amazon, but I just got unlocked. Is finally accepting them. We got Westside Gary at 20. Oh, Westside Gary at 20. Thank you. And, um, January, I got it. Thank you. Uh, so we've got a current bid of 20. We're looking for 22. Has the Raleigh or the Garner um, Amazon open, Paul? Oh, I have no idea. For FBA, we were, um, they weren't taking much. Um, they just started to open up more and more and more now. They're almost taking everything now. Which, which uh, warehouse do you send it to? Um, I, I lucked out the last time all my stuff went to one in the Midwest. They originally, I, I don't know if, if it's because I'm using inventory lab or not, but I only had to send it to one last time I had to send it to three. One was in Kentucky, I think. And I forget where the other two were. Wow. That's cool. So where are we now? we got a current bit of 20. We need a 22 folks. Uh, come on in at 22. Do you think the, the location makes a difference as to where you send it, Paul? It, it goes by their system, wherever they feel that they have a need for the items. That's where they want you to send it to. Sure. And, yeah. So at a current bid of $20, we're looking for $22. i will show you once again, folks, what I have. These are all Xbox and Xbox 360 games. Okay, they've been visually inspected, and they, I don't see any concerns at all that would make me uh, think that they would not play. 
Okay. There's five of the Xbox games and five of the Xbox 360 rows. Uh, this is uh, Shadow Shadow Hedgehog. Is that Sonic? Look, folks, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Darn. Um, some kind of shoot 'em up game. If I don't look at that text message, we'll come back. Okay. And then um, we have this one here, folks. Folks, how are you? Uh, Hitman. There we go, folks. I love Sonic, one of my favorite game characters. You know, Lisa, I couldn't play it, but it sure was fun watching people play Sonic the Hedgehog on uh, Sega Genesis. Oh my gosh, was that so fun? And uh, and I was like, why does anybody play Nintendo when this is so much faster and it's cooler? But you know, what can you say? All right, folks, uh, we've got a $20 bid. I'm gonna start calling it. We're looking for, uh, so we've got a $20 bid for West Side Gary. We're looking for 20 Two dollars to keep it going. So, um, darn it! <laughs> I gotta figure out what's going on with that audio. I'm gonna put this over here so I can key it in. There you go, folks. Who are you telling? Who are you telling? Uh, so, going once for twenty dollars. We're looking for a twenty-two dollar bid to keep it going again. Okay, going twice uh, to West Side Gary for twenty. Okay, final call. I'm gonna count up to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So congratulations, Westside Gary. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy these wonderful video games for many years to come. Thank you, Paul. Sorry, I was late on that. All right, Carol. Hello. I have three rings. I'd like to start them buyer's choice at $4 a piece. There's this one. It's a size 10. It's floral. The second one is green stone with, uh, and they're all costume jewelry. And that one is a size six and three quarters. And then there's one here. Where is it? There it is. It's hiding. And if I cannot move my hand, you might be able to see it. Got a little faux pearl. And on the other side, it's, got, it's painted. Floral. And that's a size five. So buy his choice on the rings, four dollars each. Five, almost seven, and a ten. Buyer's choice. All costume, you said, right? Yep, they're all costume. If you get one that's not, you're lucky. <laughs> this one's very dainty. Oops, there we go. Hi, Junkin' Data Girl. Cha cha. Aw, oh, thank you, Junkin' Data Girl. Yes, thank you. Everyone, thumbs up if you can. Send out shares and tell your friends to come on in. Thank you. This one is very pretty, it's like an emerald green with designs on the side. And this one is almost like a, uh, it's not quite an A, but it's, it's um, like an enamel. That's what I'm yeah, trying to yeah. say. Yep. Very That's pretty. Very cool looking, yeah. Very cool looking. Very pretty. Uh, anyone in for $4? 
buy one, buy them all, buyer's choice. Any takers? Gonna have a good eye to paint that small. Tell me about it. Not my shaky hands. I used to. Did you? Yeah, we used to do model kits, and the eyes were smaller than that. So you got to do the white, the red, the gloss, the pupil, all that stuff. Going once. Going twice. Four dollar choice on the rings if anybody's interested. Going, somebody want to put a pass in there? If you're not interested, just type pass. Okay. I passed it. All right. Um, seeing that uh, buying space wanted some of my fish earrings. I have some, where are they? Some, uh, there's my fish earrings. I don't have the bracelet that goes with it, um, but I can make some more if you want more. Um, I'm gonna sell these for $3 a piece. Hey, Hi. Cindy, Hi. How are you, Cindy? And then there's these, pink it's so like, these are uh, how much? these are buy it now for how much three dollars each and then these crosses and they're on a hook earring and then these blue posts three dollars three dollars for choice on the earrings I wonder if you ladies ever thought, like, if they made earrings for men, what would the designs be? Other than your standard, you know, uh, no, no, um, diamond stud. What else would a, a style or design for an earring be for a guy? A motorcycle. Yeah, seems like the it's endless for women. Um. A wrench, a screwdriver, anything. Yeah, a car, I guess. Yeah, Steer a car. Wheel, a steering wheel, a record. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. There's things that and make you say, hmm. Is buying Rito. space still here? She was interested in the earrings. I think she said she was off and on. I think there's like two other sales or three other sales going on right now. Oh, okay. Welcome to C19 Internet, home of the C19 Internet auction channels. 99, 99 channels to choose from every day. Beer mugs. There you go, Lisa. Beer mug. Yep, beer mug. Yep. So any interest of these? If not, we're going to pass it. Any interest on the women's earrings? $3 a piece. $3. Anybody interested? $3. Get you $3. Do you Do have, have two, two, pair two pair of, of crosses? Two pair of these crosses? I might, if I if I can find more of these crosses, I can make the earrings because I made those. Nice. Send me your information, Cindy, and I can let you know if I have to. And. Okay, I'll put my information in. There's a good chance I might um, might have another set of crosses. 
Cindy, put it this way. The last time she was with me and she did an auction, somebody asked for something. Within 20 minutes, she made it. That's how fast she was. By the time, next time it was my turn around. Yep. I had the, the earrings made, or was it? No, it was a necklace with the, with the, the same fish. Yep. So anyone else interested? If not, we're going to pass and go on. Um, Cindy, just, just email her or put it in the chat. Are we all set? Yep. All, all right. Three, so they would be nice. Okay, let me see if I can find uh, some crosses and I can let you know. Cool. All righty. I'm up, right? Yep. It's all urine. Oops. All right. Um, source from Paradise asked about this Christian Gior bag. I'm going to show you. I know what this cost us. This is what Cellhound was saying I should list it at. I had to send them all the information. A copy of our receipt from at the time it was the Macy's that closed. Um, I, I had to send them numerous pictures of everything, and that's what they came out with. I did not ever list it, as you can see. I still have it, but this is the bag. This is the, what do they call this, the dust bag? that it goes in. Um, I would take offers on it. I know I'm not going to be looking at that much money that they said I should list it as or at. I would be definitely willing to listen to offers. I ended up buying several bags because that Macy's was going out of business and Sandy ended up liking a Tommy Hilfiger better than this one. Let me see if I can shine a little light. Shine the light on me on the inside so you can see there. It's a little button clasp. And then here... So if anyone is interested, let me know. Just put something in the chat or email me. I, I've had this for, man, going on almost two years now. Um, so you know I'll have it. I'm going to put that aside. And I have a bag of Legos. And because people like to know, one pound, seven ounces of Legos. A lot of specialty pieces in these Legos. Sourced, just emailed me. Okay, Carmen 3. What are you saying 3 on Carmen? Um... It's the whole bag of Legos, 1.7, one pound, seven ounces. Anybody want to start me at five on the bag of Legos? Over a pound and a half of Legos. Anyone want to start me at five? We got Lego Man at five. Nine and three quarters. I have a feeling that's a Harry Potter one, right? I think. Next question that usually comes up, are there any people in there? I don't know. I don't think so, but I am not sure. 
We got Eagle Heart at nine. Source time checking right now. Adam, I have you in the the back room here twice. <laughs> so I guess you're having some issues. We got dual atoms. We got Lego came in at 11. Uh, Eagle Heart came in at 13. Okay, Mike, I saw that. Inbox. Sorry. Eagle Heart is at 13. And he's going to pass. Any advance over 13 on one pound, seven ounces of Legos. Legos. Here's my email. Sourced. Okay, sourced. I'm not seeing your email. I have mics, but I'm not seeing your email. Whoops. I'll give it a, a, another minute. Um, sourced. I, I don't see your email yet. But Mike did email me on it. So we got Eagle Heart Sales at 13. Eagle Heart Sales. If I remember correctly, yes. I've been holding on to these. Do you remember these? So I could put these all together. You still want these, right? You remember these from the auction a couple of weeks ago? Uh, if not, just tell me and I'll re-auction them. I don't mind. We're going to call it to Eagle Heart Sales. Hey, Mick, what's happening? One point... One pound, seven ounces. Yes, sir. Okay, Eagle Heart. No problem. Like I said, I, anybody, I, I don't have a problem if you want to wait for a couple of auctions to end so we can get more in the box to save you on shipping. Or wait until Friday or Saturday until you get paid. I have personally no problem with that. I understand completely. Um. All you got to do is ask and tell me. Say, hey, you know, can I do this? Can I do that? No problem. Lego sale, huh? Yep. So we're going twice to Eagle Heart Sales for 13 on the Legos. I'm going to give it a 10 second roundup here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Do you normally ship? on one day of the week no i ship every day except saturday and sunday um what i'll usually do is pack the stuff up and put in for a call if they don't make it one day if it's ebay's i have to get it out because i get penalized as you know if it's auction stuff sometimes they will miss it and then i'll deliver it the next day um and I think you're requiring, you're inquiring about the stuff you bought at my estate sale. I will get that out tomorrow, no problem. Five, four, three, two, one, and we are sold to Eagle Heart Sales. Thank you, thank you very much, Adam. I should be back. Am I here? I'm here. I don't yep. know for whatever reason the audio vanished and. Anyway, here we are. So, yeah, I am going to put it into the chat books, what I have. I have a mystery box, a mystery box, mystery, M-R-S-T-E-R-Y, box of DVDs. Um, so we're looking for a starting bit of 20, start, plus chat, uh, plus chat, plus ship. There you go, folks. So I'll tell you the story about these. Um, nice guy, Mike. You can comment on this. Uh, 
So this is a mystery box full of DVDs. Uh, so there's 60 DVDs in here. Most of them are all DVDs. There's a few Blu-rays, but it's 60 folks and they're pre-boxed, ready to go. All I have to do is just slap a label on it and then let my post person pick it up. And uh, looking for a starting bid of $20. Um, and there you go. Oh, I, I can't remember. There's been so much talk lately. Are DVDs media mail? Yes. Yes. But video games are not, correct? No, I would. I do those too. I, but I, I do comics too because I was told once from the postmaster you could do comics. And people say, no, you can't because of the ads. And I said, well, what if I'm selling a comic from the 60s where the places don't exist anymore? Yeah. Just paper. So You mean that art school's not around where you can draw the faces and the skunks? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, tell us a little more about it than just a good deal, Mike. Did you get a chance to look all the videos, watch all the videos you got? I know you watched those horror ones. But anyway, so we're looking for a starting bid of uh, $20, folks. It's $20 and then shipping and... Uh, and I have been shipping uh, media mail, and I think that is correct. Paul says yes. I went. I went and visited recently. Yeah. I'm gonna start putting these on eBay, folks. I'm gonna start putting these on eBay. I don't know how well they're doing, but I'm gonna start putting them on eBay. Uh, mystery box. I got my haircut. So I've gotten a lot of wonderful feedback from these folks. I've sold dozens of these. And um, yeah, there we go. Well, how about that? You got some gift giving going on, huh? Yeah, it's definitely a great deal. Yes. I agree. Uh, no. When Jerry House says, no, you can't ship video games or comics. Media mail, just saying. I, I've been doing comics since the 80s through media mail all around the world. I don't see why it would make a difference if I shipped an Atari 2600 video game cartridge media versus first class. There is no advertisement with Atari 2600. Yeah, I just don't understand the rules, but I'm willing to follow the rules. Yeah, so January House, rest assured that if you get this January House, it will be shipped to you media mail, DVDs. And there's there's commercials with, with DVDs. There's information, you know, when you open them up, sometimes the, the little piece of paper on the inside will have information and and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I don't understand that uh, logic sometimes, but hey, they are the rules. Understand, understand exactly what you mean. Like, like here's one right here, and I'm not arguing. And I appreciate you chiming in, Lisa, and telling us that. Um, it's got advertising. It's got advertisement in it. Yeah, so. They want you to buy this DVD, they want you to buy this DVD, and they want you to buy this one, then they want you to buy this one, and they want you to buy this one. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, hey, folks, we're looking for a $20 starting bid. If you're interested, just chime in. If not, we can just pass, and we go into some more incredible, wonderful items uh, for today. Uh, um, it's subject to open, yeah. Let them open it. Absolutely, yeah. My link above, my link above, uh, there are rules from you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks so much for sharing that information, Lisa. I appreciate that as well as January House. I appreciate it. And ding, 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 ding. Uh, yeah, so Mike Newsom, Nick. The so Mike's passing. Yep. Oh, Nick, uh, Nick is passing. So we need one more pass, or we need a twenty-dollar starting bid, folks. Either way, it's fine with me. How many okay. DVDs are in the box? Sixty DVDs. Uh, most of them are DVDs. There's a few that are Blu-rays. For twenty bucks. Twenty dollars plus shipping. Damn. I'm not saying not to. I've been known to break a fool's my time. Yeah. 
I, I think also it makes a difference if the label is already pre-printed and um, like from eBay or from um, PayPal. I don't think the I don't think there's as much subject to be open. I think a lot of them. Like, I'm not saying this is rules or this is the fact, but I think a lot of them that do get open, I think they're the ones who are sold at the counter. Yeah. Thir Mick says it's 33 cents a DVD. 33 and a third. That is a good deal. That's crazy. All right. Anybody interested? $20 for the entire box of DVDs. 60 DVDs. That's 33 cents a piece. You should be able to sell a couple, resell a couple, and recoup your money and just keep your favorite movies. Yeah. Even if you would have get a. Um, Even your cell. Yeah, or load them onto your uh, load them onto your hard drive and watch them anytime you want. That's true. Even your cells coming up, and you can put them out for a dollar each. What am I talking about? Your cells coming up. It's June, folks. Where am I? What world do I live in? And and a third, yes, a third, yeah. But thank you guys so much for uh, for checking out uh, what I had to offer today with this. And uh, just keep in mind, you can always reach out. Thank you so much, Paul. We can go ahead and go to the next. All right. The next Thank you. All right, Carol. Hello. I have some necklaces. Necklaces? Necklaces. The first one is an eight strand pearl and it's 16 inches long. The second one is 17 inches. And if you see, it's like a half bead. It's really pretty. It's hard. I don't think it's stone. And I don't think it's, I don't know what it is. Um, and then the third one, I'm going to do a, here we go, a cross. And it's doubled up here, but it's 28 inches long. And then we have a crystal with a toggle. I made that. Actually, I made the last two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the last two. Five dollars a piece. Yeah, hey, Nick. For choice, right? Yep, choice. Buyer's choice. Five dollars a piece. Anybody interested? Sorry, I'm just going through a couple of things. Source from Paradise, if you're still here, I never got your email. Um, Stacy, I just returned your email with a question, and we're looking for $5 choice of people. Did I get everything? I think so. You're good. There we go. Let me drop it down. Okay. There's the pearls. And there's that costume piece. Very pretty. And the cross. I'm going to take these off. There's the crystal piece. And it's got a toggle. And then this one is double because it's so long, but it's a very pretty cross. And then this is that antique piece. You haven't seen anything like this since my mother was around and she's been gone 21 years. And this is the pearls with the hook clasp and that's eight strand any takers five dollars a piece buyer choice anybody interested 
Any interest in the necklaces? Somebody was asking, I'm just checking the chat. People were asking for brooches. I have brooches. Uh, anybody interested in the necklaces? $5 choice on the necklaces. How about $4? Oh, Carol's going crazy. $4 for insane. choice. <coughs> I'm insane. Buyer's choice. $4. I'm going to do one of those. What's that guy on? He's probably still in prison if you're thinking of Crazy Eddie. My prices are no, the one on Tool time. The neighbor. The oh, neighbor yeah, 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 yeah. I, I haven't Wilson. watched that program Wilson. in a long time. Wilson. Wilson. Crazy Eddie, yep. Anyone interested in any of the necklaces? Anybody interested in necklaces? Okay, I can pass on that. All right. And somebody wanted brooches? Brooches. Brooches. I got some really old brooches that I can show you. Here's one. It's really old. No markings. But it's old. And it looks like it might be missing stones, but then they look like they're dark. And this one is a double pin. And it has the little Christian, is it Virgin Mary on it? Yep. Yep. Isn't that and a poppy? Huh? Isn't that a poppy? It looks like it. But the, the other pin has the same uh, Virgin Mary on the back. Yep. That's unusual. Isn't it? Yeah, because why would you have the Mother Mary against your, without showing it? Because you have to pin it on that side, right? Yeah. Why would they do that? That's unusual. Unless you want the Virgin Mary close to your heart. That's true. Yeah, that's true. You know, and you could put one higher and one lower, or then you'll look like my, my Aunt Hilda that had tons of jewelry on. I have that, and then and I have. How much are the brooches? Um, two bucks. Two dollars for choice on the brooches. Who wants brooches? Two dollars choice. And then this one with pearls and little blue stones. Is there a marking on this? No. No marking. No, yeah, she was still a virgin. She was still Virgin that. Mary, right? I didn't, I didn't know that. There were other kids? You would think, but. No, I didn't I know that there were other kids. Any of them marked? Let's see. Nope. 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 How do you do that, Paul, like that? There you go. Whoops. Well, Almost. like I said, I have that thing that doesn't make things slide. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started with stuff that's in the Bible, Mick. Ah. Any interest? $2 choice on the brooches. We have to move this along, everybody. Any interest? Any interested? $2 choice on the brooches. I guess it's the wrong brooches that they want. All right. If you're interested, put what you're interested in in the chat. 
for me, for Adam, for Carol, what would you like to see us bring up? I know that everybody's probably got four auctions on their screens right now showing. Um, uh, Lego Man's looking for enamel flowers and big round rhinestone brooches. NASCAR Man wants to offer you $6 for all of them. No prime rib, just $6 for all of them. For all of these? The ones that you had on the card. I can do that all but the the two Virgin Mary ones. Frugal That's City Frugal City came in. He wants to offer you $8, eight for all. Eight dollars for all. Ooh, you're starting to get an auction going and you're just gonna get me so excited. <laughs> <laughs> NASCAR man says he'll pick them up. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, you could save on. He'll bring the lobster also. He will. Oh, I would love a lobster right now. But anyway. Just the other day. Yeah, uh, rub it in. That's okay. Um, so what we have frugal, uh, frugal city, $8 for all of them. I'll go out. Ten, ten, I can put all five pins in. NASCAR, do you want to do ten? She'll put all five pins for ten. And then you can pick them up. I'll meet you somewhere. <laughs> as long as you promise to behave. Frugal City says NASCAR can have them. But now, Dennis, do you want $10, all five of them? Or he, he, he picked eight. Did I say Dennis? It was Derek. I don't know why I keep saying Dennis. NASCAR man, chime in, please. We got to go along. We got to move. Let's make a decision here. Got to go, as other people would say. Got to go. So, frugalisti, you want it? You want them for eight? Ten dollars for all, whatever the, it was, all of them, right, Carol? Oh, so now NASCAR is saying ten for all. Okay. You do it. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, NASCAR, you got them. You have them. You'll have to email me so I can send. Um, you got my email, NASCAR man? Just put it in the chat, Carol. Okay. Thank All right. you. All righty. Okay. Let's do a garment, a brand new garment. I believe it's brand new. Maybe it's not brand new. Yes, brand new. This is from Jersey's. I want to show you the back first. This is a hoodie. This is a pullover hoodie. This is brand spanking. Back to the future, 35th anniversary, 85 to 2020. Thank you for the memories. I'm going to start this at 10. It is a hoodie. And the next question I guess I didn't get, right, is what's the size, Paul? The size is extra large. Come on. Extra large. Jerseys. You got Frugal City in at 10. Back to the future. 
35th anniversary. Oh, there's the pockets right there. So it's printed over the pockets. And the advance over 10 for the Back to the Future hoodie. We have Frugal City in at 10. What year? I would have to say this year because it's celebrating the 35th anniversary, 85 to 2020. I don't think there's any place else that it says a year on it. No. Nope. Um, Frugal, if you could email me. Oh, no problem, Gary. Um, just in case I don't have your info. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da jerseys. Yeah, that's the only place. Pretty cool, very vibrant. I know it's dark. Hold on. Just got to put the light. To shine the light on me. Actually, shine the light on the merchandise. There we go. That, uh, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Hoodie. Why? You can see the hood now. 35th anniversary. We have Eagle Heart Sales in at 12. Eagle Hearts of 12. Any advance? We got Eagle Heart of 12 on the Back to the Future hoodie. Extra large, right? I did say that extra large. Extra large, 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 extra large, extra large, thrifty Santa. Boy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Extra large jerseys. I'm going to start and make extra large. I'm going to start calling it. I have a bunch of graphic tees and hoodies that I'm going to be doing. Um, since you guys like this stuff, I will do more. I have all sorts. I have some Walking Dead and that type of stuff. So we're going to start calling it to Eagle Heart Sales. Going once at 12. Way too small for this. <laughs> I don't say that, Thrifty Santa, because I also am a full-figured gentleman. That's the way we should be. We should say it. We're full-figured gentlemen. Going twice to Eagle Heart Sales. Frugal City's in at thirteen. Thanks, and by the way, thank you everybody for coming in and uh, being here with us. Don't forget, Friday, I'll be with John at Federation Comics in Massachusetts for our pop culture sale. We will have a lot of pops and comics. I'll bring some comics today if people want them. Um, and... Um, 
please email me if you want to be on the email list to uh, find out what else we'll be doing. That's right. We need love, too. All right, Frugal, I will be on the lookout for it. I just got an email saying I have a lightning proximity alert because the sky is looking pretty ominous right now. <laughs> Going twice to Frugal City. Eagle Heart is out. Let me just check. Okay, Mark, got you in. Thank you. Paul, what are the oldest comics you have? I have a Captain America number 28 from 1954 sitting on my shelf right next to me. Last and final call. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Frugal City for 13. Thank you. Oh, and just in case you didn't believe me. Oh, you can't see the... Um... You can't see the comments. The light's too big. Sorry. And we have Adam back in the house. Adam, you're 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 um, muted. Hey folks, I got some video game lots. I got one, two, three, and four. So I'm just going to start with uh, I don't know, maybe two. I'll start with two. So um, looking for a starting bid of ten dollars. Looking for a starting bid of ten dollars plus shipping. Uh, is for PlayStation number two. I'll show you what I got. Boogie. Boogie, woogie. Air Jack. Nightclub. Cool car. I like mine better. Muppets. Did you imagine going on a party cruise with Miss Piggy and Kermit? Kermit the Frog. I'll be glad to party with Miss Piggy. There we go. Uh, this is... Uh, F A N T A Vision, Fan of Vision. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, and there you go, folks. We've got 10 of them. So, um, 4.0. I'll have to ask my comment shop guy what that means. Oh, it's, uh, they grade comics on 1 to 10, and mm -hmm. my Captain America is graded at a 4.0. But it's older than I am. Very good, folks. Hey, we're looking for a $10 bid, starting bid, or we're looking for two passes. Whatever you like to do, folks, is okay with me, because not only me, but Paul and uh, Cousin Carol, we all have cool stuff to share with everybody. That's for sure. And plus, we like being here and hanging out with everybody and uh, cool things like that. Hearing about the sunshine and hearing about your temperature and things like that. I remember when Mike was saying, it's been raining for 32 days. And, uh, and now he's like, and the sun is shining. Thank you, Lisa. That is another still. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Folks, we got um, these video games. They're PlayStation number two. We're looking for a $10 starting bid, or are we looking for a pass? Well, I will start you at 10. If Thank no you so much, Paul. We got a starting bid. Would you go ahead and put it in the chat so we can? I can. If no it. one's going to bid, then I don't feel too bad. <laughs> it's totally okay. We got a $10 starting bid, folks. We're looking for $12. We're looking for a $12 bid. So it's $12 plus shipping. Paul knows. He does, Lisa. You're exactly right. Uh, Mick's coming in uh, with three. No, Mick, it's got to be 12. Oh, it rained for three. I saw three. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, New Year. Is shipping included? It is not included, uh, Frugal City, but what will happen is that 
we will individually invoice everyone and then you pay uh, the shipping. So I'm gonna ship these media, so there you go. Rather than me say, there's just $30 with shipping and quit. So it's, you know, it's, it's $10 starting bid and you pay shipping, ship it with media. Uh, so yeah, just to make it as cheap as possible. And if you end up getting five video game logs from me, I'll put them all together and and uh, in that way. Delden's in the house, hey Delden. You'll just pay the shipping for all of them combined rather than each one added because, I don't know, anyway. I think everybody can figure it out. We got a $12 bid from Nine Pound Hammer. Thank you so much. Damn, he um, outbid me. Oh, darn. So we got a $12 bid. We're looking for 14. Uh, Delden knows. You're right, Lisa. He sure does. Okay. If anybody in the audience doesn't know either, Nine Pound Hammer does an auction also. And he is a bona fide auctioneer. And um, he, has, he comes across some really cool stuff watches and and he, for some reason he comes across a lot of coinage mm. we have chris the goose with 14. thank you so much chris we got a 14 dollars bid we're looking for 16 dollars 16 dollars for these wonderful pre-loved classic video games that will work with the playstation 2 platform we got uh the nine pound hammer coming back at 16. thank you nine pound hammer we're looking for 18 dollars we got 16 we're looking for 18 dollars, so it'll be 18 dollars plus shipping and it will ship yeah i may have it in my oh lisa knows yeah so yeah and thanks for everybody for coming today we appreciate it and it's fun to hanging out we got to do something uh so yeah. okay we got a current bit of 16 dollars from the nine pound hammer we're looking for 18 dollars for these classic video games. I'm gonna show them one more time, folks. Now, all of these are pre-loved. Okay, we got that one, and this one, and this one. These have all been visually inspected. I do not own the machine, um, Panavision. And, um, but they all passed my inspection with my Eagle Eye, and I feel like they all will play just fine. Of course, if you get one and you have a problem with it, just just reach out. I'll be glad to help you out in many ways. Midnight Club. I used to love to play Road Rash. Uh, Air Attack 2. There we go. Boogie! Boogie, 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 boogie. And there we go. So we've got a current bid of 16. We're looking for 18. Uh, uh too much road rash going on the road when I drive around 40. So there we go. Hey, you got a start, uh, current bid of $16. We're looking for 18. I'm going to start calling it going once, going once uh, for 16 to nine pound hammer. Put in the chat, G1. Wow, change my keyboards. Uh oh. G1. Yeah, I changed keyboards, and uh, which is okay. Going once for uh, 16, uh, 18 will uh, would keep it going first. Going twice to Dalton for $16. Final call. Oh, we got a bid of $40. All right. Wait a minute. Why would you bid 40 when it should be 18, Mike? Talk to me, Mike. I think he has no idea what's going on. All right. Uh, final call going to Dalton. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Congratulations, uh, Nine Pound Hammer. I appreciate it a bunch. Thank you so much. Nine Pound Hammer, I hope you enjoy these for many years to come. Thank you much. Train. Okay. You want brooches? Here's some brooches. I have a green one. That's a circle. It's like an emerald. Oh, I keep forgetting which way I'm going. There we go. And then I have one that looks like a house with a blue stone. And kind of like a grayish stones. And then a cupid. And then the orange, green, yellow, and red one. $3 to start.
Anyone interested? Three dollars to start. How about two dollars to start? Sorry. Don't tell me no, Mick. <laughs> Two dollars to start. Anybody interested? You wanted brooches? No. Roaches or brooches? Brooches. Didn't they want brooches or pins? Yes. Yeah. I, was just, I was just kidding. All Why right. Three dollars for choice. Who's interested? Three dollars for choice on the brooches. I'll even drop it down to two. Tamara, are you still in the audience? Tamara, Penny Day, Tamara. What are you looking for, Lego man of the Midwest? Uh, for one thing, I would say Legos. <laughs> oh, is it getting bad out here? Last time this happened two weeks ago, we had a tornado drop down in the uh, community here. No way. Yeah, it was um, 16 years. It's the first one I saw here. Hmm. All right, we're going to pass? Yep, we're going to pass. All right. Me? Oh, you got something else, or is it me? Yeah, go ahead. NASCAR man, put them aside. We put can them talk. Aside and we can oh, talk. Oh boy, you guys are gonna talk. All right. We'll see. All righty. Okay. Um, Tamara, I don't know if you're still here. I'm gonna do a load, a lot, a little, some, few. Vintage linens. Grandma passed and left us all these linens. So I'm going to start showing, and you guys just start me off somewhere. I'm not opening this up all the way, although I should, right, so you can get an idea. There's one. Because now I have to refold it, and Sandy did a great job ironing these. Wow, the sky just opened up too. So there's one. So on these I have a matching set. These are a like a, a you know a very very light turquoise. Sneezing in the yeah. So I have two of these. I know I saw that. The wind picked up like the last time we had the tornado. Talking to Sandy, sorry. Then there's this one that is a looks like it's for a bureau or to put under like lamps or something. So that's your second piece. Third is like another one, but one sided. So I don't know if this would hang off a table with the decor on it. That's right. Yeah, the, the woman I purchased these from was, how do you say it politely? Um, her kids had to have her go to a assisted living facility. She couldn't, you know, she couldn't care for herself anymore. And they had the estate sale, and I went in and made an offer and a deal to buy every piece of linen that was in the house. Um, many of the things are extremely old. Like, I could remember my grandfather having a lot of this stuff on the tables and coffee tables. Carmen, to answer your question, I showed one, two, three, four, five pieces so far. Just start me out. Start me out, Carmen. You want to start it at five? Start it at five. 
is another one. I mean, look at the work, the needlepoint or whatever they call it, but it looks like needlepoint stitching on that. Um, she did some wonderful things. And I can tell you these have been washed just to get them fresh. So they might still have some staining or whatever. You just have to do some, what do they call it, uh, shout or something to get it out. All we did was wash just for freshness. So you get those. You get, um, there's one, two, three of these. This is a peach, light peach color with some nice uh, on the fabric, decor on the fabric, or what do you call it? You see the stripe there goes all the way around. So there's three of those. We have Carmen at eight. I'm not done yet. Here's a big piece for a bureau. This is probably four foot wide, but you can see the work on that. Hope I'm not boring anybody. A lot of work on that. But there is some staining. And like I said, I don't know if that will come off with shout or whatever, but um, it's definitely worth trying so we got tamara tamara at 10 carmen at 12. you got one two three of that set Sorry for the shadow, but I have the light right behind the camera. And we have two of this one. There's two, and these are pretty old. I mean, you can tell these are old. So there's two of those. I don't know what this is. This is very vibrant. This could be a small table cover. Yep. This reminds me of something that would be on that table that we used to have with the phone on it. Yeah, man, am I showing my age? And then we got the phone with the long, long cord and we were rocking then. We got Sue Ann at 15, and here's another piece. Oh, there's two of these, right? Two. I want to show you the detail. Here, Carmen at 18, Sue at 20, Tamara, Tamara at 21, Carmen at 25. There's two of those. Oh, look at these. Check these out. There's... Let me angle this down a little more. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these. These are very stiff cloth. They're round, as you can see. Those are cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six of these, and you can see all the detail work on these. So we got 
Carmen Tamara at 30. Carmen at 33. Let's do these two. All right. This will be another piece I'll put in. Another piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these. Got Tamara at 35, Carmen at 38, Tamara, wow, 45. These are really nice. And there is a little stain right there. I love it when the camera focuses right away. See all that? We got Carmen. At 50, thank you, ladies. Thank you, everybody that's bidding. Thank you, everybody that's been staying with us here. So do we think that's a good lot right there? Let me start and recap. We have Tamara at 55, Carmen at 60. Let us recap. One. Let me zoom in a little. Bring this up a little. Yeah, right about there. Okay, one piece. Sorry. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, ooh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. We have Carmen at 60. I can't let this go at just 29 pieces. So how about this? Sandy and I didn't actually know what this was. So let me zoom up here again. Um... We don't know what it was, what it is. It, it's made that way. So there's like this piece here. Then this has a pocket here. Then it's got two small pockets in there. And then two other small pockets, if you could see that. All right. Then it has this over it. So I don't. We don't know what it is. Um, we thought it was a pillow covering. weren't sure, but it's pretty cool. It's in great condition, great shape. It's clean, very clean. But did, and it hangs also. So does anybody know what this would be? For keeping the bread warm. Really? The bread warm. So, but I mean, 
what's the what's the little pockets then? Carm I mean, you you gals would know. There's four pockets, uh, and then there's the big one here. It's just the way that the um, the light hits it, Mick. Like the shadow makes it pink. When it's in the light, it's white. It is white. For butter pats. Oh, wow. The back flap goes under the mattress. Now, see, that's a possibility. So that's what I thought maybe. This would go under the mattress. And then you could put, like, the remote control, the TV guide. Or do they still sell TV guides? Or, you know, something like that in these pockets. But that's going to be your 30th piece. That's like $2 a piece. Wow. Well, they're great. They're great things. So where are we? Oh, not that. It looks like color changes. Keeping the bread, the bread warm. Tamara is at 65. Carmen is at 70. For all 30 pieces. That is one bunch of linen. Do you have any remote control keepers for recliners? I don't think so, Mick. Sorry, I don't think so. Unless they're in like that one there. But I don't think so. We got Carmen at 70. Tamara at 75. Carmen's at 80. They love their linens. And these are the two ladies that have bought a lot of these old linens from me. And I'm sure you both have your packages already. And um, I still have, this is just the top of that bin right there. I still have the rest of it to go through and two more, three more bins. So we're at 80 with Carmen. We're going to start calling it. $80 with Carmen. Tamara is at 90. $90 with Tamara. Tamara. 95 with Carmen. I did not mix. I did not. I could do that next. 95 with Carmen. Thank you very much, everybody, for bidding. Carmen, Tamara, everybody else that was bidding. We got 95 with Carmen. We're going to start calling it. Tamara. Let me know what you want to do. Tamara is at 100. Thank you very, very much, Tamara. Thank you. Carmen is out. Gonna give it a 10 second call. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you very, very much, Tam Tam Tamara. Sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. How do I follow that, folks? <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Um, Sorry it took so, so long. I, I like to see some. It's okay. I like to see some photographs of the of how that thing can be used for buns and for 
butter. So if someone has a reference online, reach out, share it with us. We'll have to check it out. Hey, folks, uh, I got some video games. Um, Paul, is it okay if this is my last slot today? Yes. I know you got a long ride to go, too. Thank you, sir. Um, I got some video games, folks. So, I'm sorry? I said, I know you got a long ride to go home. Okay, I'm going to start the bidding at $10. I'm going to start the bidding uh, at $10 plus shipping. I'm going to show you what I have, folks. Uh, these are all Nintendo DS games, and we know how cool they are. So this is uh, Drone to Life. Drone to Life. This is Chess Master. This is Master of Illusion. This is Imagine Boutique Owner. Carol! I see jewelry. Uh, this Bakugan. Uh, this is Crazy Machines. There we go, folks. We're looking for a $10 bid starting. Um, All right, we're looking for a $10 bid plus starting, uh, plus shipping. These are all Nintendo DS games. Thank you. We've got a $10 bid from Paul. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. Uh, we're looking for a $12 bid. $12. Got a, currently got a $10 bid, and so we're looking for $12 for these wonderful pre-love games, and they're ready to be loved again for many years to come. Battle chess, animated chess. I think I remember seeing that on someone's computer. Um, I think it was also, um, I think it's also, uh, I think there was a, a video game platform that had that. That is a really good question, um, Tarvin. I may have to hold it to the display to the camera and see if we can get some uh, lifeline uh, ask people about that because i'm just not sure never mind well this is more hardware and safety than it is for the actual thing I think you might be right there, sir. Okay, we're gonna, uh, you can get, uh, okay, we got a current bid of $10. We're looking for $12, anybody? I don't think this has anything to do with, uh, with Dragon Ball Z, but I don't have no idea. Collect over 35, 17 to choose from. Draw Dan in battles to save uh, Vestoria and Earth from the ultimate fever. What if we can change how the Earth is today in uh, getting some of this evil out of here? Yeah, so there you go. All right, folks, we got a $10 bid. We're looking for a $12 bid. All right. Yeah. Hey, let's start calling it, folks. Uh, we got a $10 bid uh, going once to Paul for $10. If anybody's interested, just chime in, chime in with $12. Okay, we got $10. Okay. Uh, going twice, final call. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woohoo! Congratulations, Paul. Wow, my first one. Your first win, isn't that exciting? And I hope you enjoy these wonderful games for many years to come, Paul. Thanks so much for letting me hang out with everyone today. It was good to see everybody, and um, rock and roll. Thank you, Adam. Adam, I will text you, email you later or tomorrow morning. No rush. And drive safe. Okay, here. okay right. sounds great. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Okay. I have five necklaces. 
All right. I have a light purple. Where is it? Here, this one. Light purple, and it's 15 inches long, and it comes with clip earrings to match. I have a green, blue, red, and purple stones. It's 30 inches long. Where is it? Here it is. This one. And it's a lobster claw. Then I have a black and white bead. It's 16 inches with a, a gold tone bead uh, chain. And it's got a lobster claw. I have this pretty bird. Uh, which way do I go? This way. That's an 18 inch and it's got a spring clasp. And then I have this cross that's got well, stones look like diamonds and ruby. And that one is a 28 inch and the chain is like a boxed chain. Very pretty in silver. And I'm starting these off at $4. Anyone interested? I've got five necklaces. $4 choice, right? $4 choice. Yep. Buyer's choice. Anyone interested? Four dollars choice on the necklaces. Let's see, we got the per the light purple with the earrings. Four dollars, Carmen. Okay, good. We have the black and white with the gold chain. We have that beautiful cross. We have what else? Um, yes, dear. Hold the top of the card closer to your face and the bottom away from your body. There you go. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're doing it the you're doing it the opposite way though. Lay the lay the chains. Yes, yes. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Not as much, but I mean, yeah, I yeah. mean, at least they're not clinking on the side of the board and making a ruckus noise. Right. And I just broke my board. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you got Carmen in at four for choice on the necklaces. Anyone else want to come in? Carmen's at four on the necklaces. That bird is really cute. Looks like it's sitting on a heart. I can't tell. And then that beautiful cross. How long is the bird one? It's 18 inches with a spring clasp. And this one with the red and the purple and the blue and the green. That one's 30 inches and it's got a lobster claw. And then the light purple with the clip earrings. Very vintage. We have Lady Antiques Treasures in at five. We have Carmen in at six. Anyone for seven? Anyone want to come in for seven? You got Lady Antiques Treasures at eight. At eight, okay. Lady Antiques treasures at eight. How about a nine dollar bid? Anyone in for nine? Okay, let's see. We're gonna go once to Ladies Antiques treasures for eight. We're going to go twice. Oh, and Carmen is out. Okay. And we're going twice to 
ladies, antiques, treasures for eight. And any, any advance over eight? You're getting choice. And sold for eight dollars to Lady Antiques Treasures. Which one or ones would you like? Whoops, what happened to my screen? You're there. Yeah, am I here? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I knocked myself out of my screen. So ladies, antiques, treasures, which one or ones, <coughs> excuse me, I would like the bird and cross, please. Okay. So the, the last two. Yep, the last two for $8 a piece. And if you could send me, um, I'll post my email address. <laughs> Carmen, would you like any for eight? We can't, we can't see you. Yes, we can. No, you could <laughs> see my husband sneak by. Uh, just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, he <laughs> walked by, I did see him. He, he was hiding on the side and waiting for me to, to go offline so he could walk. <laughs> no problem. Anybody else would like um, one, Carmen? The multi Carmen would like the multicolored one. Oh, good choice, Carmen. Very pretty. Anyone else? Who's the next backup bidder there was? Yes, I prefer PayPal, Lady Antiques Treasures. Okay, those are the two that you had. All righty. Okay. All set? Thank you, yes. All righty. Thank you, Carmen, and thank you, ladies, antiques, treasures. Okay. I have, I have a brand new CD case. Like this is a Japan one, I guess. That it's brand new. You hold on to it. But inside. It is loaded with DVDs. So V for Vendetta. Clone Wars, Casualties of War. Zombie Land, I can't read them all. Mont some Water World, Something Monte Cristo, Stagecoach. Uh, Marine, Terminator, Complicates, Complicate, Big Fish. Six cents. I would have to start this at 15, just the way it is. 15, and then we do shipping afterwards. Silence of the Lambs, Lambs, uh, Labr Pan's Labyrinth, uh, My Man Godfrey, Far From Home, Rock and Roll. I can't read the small ones. Barney Christmas, uh, Heaven's Burning, Good Hair. Titanic, Longest Yard, there's more that I can't read the titles, Into the Wild, Eastern Promises, Total Recall, No Country for Old Men, My Soul to Take, and Four Lovers. Anyone interested? 15 to start. Brand new case. Soft plastic. Loaded with DVDs. $15 to start. If not, just put a pass. Any interest?
Texas Val, how are you? If you just got this piece, luckily I always keep my handy dandy scale next to me. It is one pound, 12 ounces, and this being the size that it is, I can definitely get this into a padded flat rate. So you're looking at $7.85 if this was the only piece you got. It would go priority, padded flat rate. I mean, if I did... There's no covers, but there's this. If I shipped it media, you're looking at 420. Um, but then that whole discussion, you know, before we had before you came in, can you ship it media? Can you not? Any interest? 15 to start. If this was the only thing you got, I could do it in a priority padded flat rate. And it would be 785. Any interest? If not, I will pass it. Has some decent movies in there. But no problem. We can bring it back another time. So I'm going to pass it, and I still have some of these, as you could see. Spring Assist Easy Open Tactical Equipped Knife, brand new, in the box, in the box. There's the size if you wanted to get an idea. Spring assist. Stainless steel. Kentucky cutlery. I could do these. No option, just to buy it now, $6 each. I can handle probably somebody, if they wanted up to 20 pieces, I could do that. It's got a belt loop. You can, I'm sorry, you can see the design. It's... um. It's not skid proof, but it's got a good feel to it. It's not shiny and slippery. And once again, spring assist. So $6 each. Buy it now if anybody's interested. They come boxed. So if anybody does flea markets or swap meets, whatever you call them in your neck of the woods. Um, you sell them brand new. Carmen wants two of them. All right, Carmen. As you can see, I have this case, and this case is just about half, and then I have another full case. Anybody else? 
tactical knife. Brand new merchandise. Great for flea markets, swap meets, gifts. Father's Day is coming. Next weekend, I think, right? Not this week. Is it this weekend? I don't remember. Um, but there you have it. They're all brand new, all brand new merchandise. As a lot of you know, I've been getting brand new merchandise in by the cases and cases, and then I split them down and make the 21st, so you can get it on time for Father's Day. And um, I break the packages down because I know not everybody can afford a $800,000 case of merchandise, so I bring it to smaller lots. How much and how... How much and how much is shipping, Paul? So these I'm selling at $6 each. But then it depends. These are $6 each. But then it depends on how many you get. So it's definitely the more you buy, the more you save. Because I'll just give you an idea. 4.8 ounces. So just to ship one, you're talking $3.80, basically, roughly. Two of them, same thing. Three of them, you like four twenty. dollars Once you go to four of them, you're over a pound, and then it's priority mail. So then you do four, you do eight, four to eight pieces. I could still get in a priority envelope and, a, you know, wrap it up. And it's going to cost you $7.85. Hopefully that makes sense. That's the way we feel we should do the shipping because it saves everybody money that way. Um, instead of me charging you $15 a piece, I could charge you $6.00. You could buy four or five or a dozen of them, and you're only going to pay like $10, $12 shipping for a dozen, say, instead of paying the shipping on every single piece. Does that make sense to everybody? I hope. So $6 each. Just let me know in the chat. You have my email. I still have this, and I have a full case. Are we ready, Carol, because Adam had to leave? Uh, yeah, I sure am. Oh, what happened? I'm just putting my last thing up on the board. All righty. And. Okay. okay, ladies treasures, I will get that to you. Could you please email me your information? Because I don't think uh, you have bought from me before. What did we call those? Is he creating a problem? Who, my husband? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's my sidekick. He's my helper. He's trying to trying to tell me, and he told me, but I forgot already. So, huh? Tab insert on the clasp, and it's three strands of pink beads. And that is 24 inches. It's vintage. Then I have a double strand of pearls with the same tab insert closure. And one's longer than the other. And that is 24 inches as well. Then we have this real dainty. Let me see if I can get it up close. Heart with a little stone in it. That's an 18 inch. And then we have this tri strand of pink beads. And that has a copper lobster claw. You stop mentioning food. <laughs> or lobsters. 
Yeah, love lobsters. Okay. Um, I'm going to start these at $4. Buyer's choice. We have the pink beads, the pearls. We have the dainty little heart with the stone in it. And the copper uh, lobster claw with uh, pink beads and three strands. Anyone in for four dollars? Buyer's choice. What are the beads made of? Um, not sure. The the beads are not um they're like continuous they're you can't move the beads around they're those vintage beads can you see it yep yeah yep and the same with the pearls you can't move them around there. I don't know. What would you call them? That I don't know. I like this really dainty. So pretty. Compared to my thumb, see how dainty it is? Hey. I got to figure out my left from my right on this camera. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's tough because it's left is right, right is left. So where are we? What are we? What are we starting at again? Four dollars. Anyone interested? Buyer's Four. choice. Four dollars start for choice on the necklaces. Anyone interested? Four dollars choice. Anybody's interested? And these are like, I'm not sure. Tomorrow's saying pass. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone want to come in with a $4 bid? Buyer's choice? Any interest? Any at all. Don't wait for the last minute. <laughs> if no one's interested, we'll pass on that. And I do have some pins. This is still in the box. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? It's a lighthouse. And it, the, um, I don't know what you call that back, the pin. Yep. Just yep. a pin back. A tie tack pin. Yes. Okay. That's pretty. It's in pewter. And it's got a cross on it. Yes, it does. Guiding you home. And then we have this. It's all metal. It's very vintage. Wow. And yep. how much? How much are these? These are three dollars a piece. Three dollars choice. Three dollars choice. How about if we go real vintage with a cameo? Cameo. Well, it's not quite a cameo. It's a flower. Cameo style. Yeah. Got Mary Pelletier and Melissa Cape, but Mary just beat her out by a second. Come in at three. How are you, Mary? Good to see you again. NASCAR man comes in at four. 
And then I have this one that's a poodle with that, little red eyes. That's cool. Isn't that cool? And all these little rhinestones. Rhinestone, rhinestone cowboy. Oh, I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> We're going to do a, um, a duet. Yep. Melissa Capes in at five. Okay. How are you, Mary? How have you been? Have the dog. The we dog? Did you say the, the dog? The dog. The, or I should say poodle. And then the rose cameo. The cross with the lighthouse. Mary on... I. A lot of the stuff before ten dollars, we've just been doing a dollar increment. Um, it's not something where you know. We got a five bid. We're looking for six. Any way to? Sh can you? You have a separate camera. No way. I was going to say, is there any way you could show them all together? I think I might be able to handle that. Let's see. Can you just aim your camera down? How's that? Good. We have Melissa at five. Melissa Cape is at five. Let First. me guess which one she wants. <laughs> uh, I can guess too. Yeah. Five for choice on the pins. Yeah, that's funny. You, Melissa Cape, and NASCAR man are like within an hour drive probably of each other. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Back ninth, the cameo, please. Can they see the back of the cameo? The cameo, sure. Whoops. Is that good? Mm -hmm. There's like no markings. Did I have? Okay. Anybody else? Any advance over five? NASCAR, Mary, if you're not, could you please just type out? Okay. NASCAR is out. Mary comes in at six. Cindy likes the lighthouse. Mary Pelletier is in at six. Oh, Cindy, I checked out the, I only have one cross. Um, if I find another one, I can let you know, but I looked and I couldn't find any more. So we have Mary Pelletier in it, six with these pins, and this cameo just wants to run away. Yeah. I thought it'd be the dog. The dog. The dog. <laughs> All right, we're going to start calling it to Mary for six. NASCAR is out. Melissa, are you in? Are you out? I'm going to go once to. You're Mary. welcome, Cindy. She's out to Mary. She's okay. To Mary. All right. Gonna Mary, give Mary, what? Which one or ones would you like? Well, we're going to say sold to oh, Mary. Sold. Yep. All right, Mary, which one or one? Red flower and lighthouse, please. The red flower and the lighthouse. Okay. Anyone else want the poodle or the rose cameo or six? 
And Melissa says, do you, if you have any other religious pieces? I just might. And Mary, did you catch my email? Let's see. Any? I have. I have lots of religious necklaces. Um. Let's see. No, she needs your. She needs your email. Okay. Let me type that in. There we go. Let's see. Anything else religious? Um, I do have a lot of necklaces that are religious. Well, do you want to look at that and then come back with it? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. All right. So I'm yep. up. You're up. All right. Up and running. Okay. I'm going to show this again. I know Sourced was interested and um, didn't get an email. I do have an email bid on it. Christian Dior. I, I don't know if everybody was in here the first time I showed it. It's brand new. Here is the bag. The inside. Another pocket. Let me fold this and put it back. Now, I don't know if who's who was in here before when I showed it. All right. I went through, oh, what's the name of this place? Cellhound. Gave them all my information. Showed them the receipt, a million pictures. This is what they came up with. I never listed it. And then after this, they went from doing everything to just, um, doing fashion clothes. I went, I was with them doing things like this, doing, I bought a bunch of stuff from Macy's when Macy, we had a Macy's that went out of business and a Kohl's. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from them, this included. And I, they were doing all kinds of listings for me. I had DeLonghi merchandise. I think a lot of you remember I had the, I still have one DeLonghi convection oven. A lot of the stuff I sent to Amazon. But this is what they suggested that that piece should sell for. If I have one bid, one email bid, I'm not going to say what it is, but if anybody else is interested, email me. I would like to sell it. It's been with me now for going on two years. Um, just let me know. Oh, if it has, okay. Um, so let's do, since everybody liked the last, well, a lot of people liked the last one, let's do another linen lot. Now this one, oh, I thought that was a stain, but it's not, right? No, it's in the fabric like that. So let me just back the camera out a little. And it seems to be backed out all the way. So there's one of these. This has to be probably three and a half, four feet. I guess you would put this on a table or under lamps or whatever. 
So there's one piece. Sorry for my chair creaking. There's three of these. There's one, two, three. Give you a nice close up. Shimmery, shiny, good size. Carmen's in at eight. Is this one? So there's nothing on this side. So all the decor is on this side. So there's that. There's one, two, three of these. There's one, two, three, four of these. I'll open that one. Nothing plastic, nothing flimsy. These are all real old-time fabric. There's one, two, three four of these this one has a little staining right there a little discoloration these were all washed just for freshness they were in this woman's house home for probably longer than i've been alive um and when she left i just went on to the estate sale made a deal to buy all the linens so I think what you could do is spray and wash and that type of stuff on the stains. There's one, two, three. I wouldn't doubt if some of these are older than me. I mean, you don't just you don't just see work like that anymore. This is an odd shape. Somebody could put in there, what What would this go to underneath? A lamp, maybe? I mean, that's, you know, we saw a couple of things like this when we were doing it. Sandy uh, needs all the applause because she's the one that ironed everything. And there's a different stitched picture on each side so carmen do you know what these with this or tamara would do you know what this shape would this go under a lamp or something like that and then there's different pictures on each side and then here's another one see i'm not going to open it up but you get the gist same shape but look at all that lace work. I can appreciate the lace because my mother would do things like this. My mother was a seamstress and she used to make wedding gowns. Um, she actually worked on one of the Kennedy's wedding gowns way back when. You get tomorrow at 30 and you only have one of this one, but This one is, oh, there's one, 
two. There's two of these. Good size. This is half. So you can see it's good size. I'm sorry for taking so long with these. There's two of those. Let's do this pink one. Pink. Carmen's at 40. And then you have the same flower or fruit on the white ones. So there's one, two, three, four, five. All nice, really nice. I'm telling you, between you two ladies, the Thanksgiving table at your house is going to look fantastic. And I don't know what this is. Oh, these look like placemats. These are heavy material. Almost feel like they were knitted. There's only two of them. So these have to be placemats because of the size and shape. All right. And let's throw this one in too. This is very frail. Very frail. You can get an idea of the size. This is the only one of this. But it's very delicate. So let's recap and go with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34, 34, and I got to stop there because everything else is like in groups, 34 pieces of vintage linen. We have Tamara at 60, Carmen at 75 for 34 pieces, all vintage linen. Boy, the camera really does add 50 pounds, doesn't it? That and the um, C19. <laughs> Tamara is out. Carmen is at 75. Anybody advance on 75 for 34 pieces? 
Anybody? I'm going to give it a 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you very much, Carmen. Thank you, Tamara, for bidding also. You ready there, um, Carol? Yeah, I am. I just All have right. to move my plate of Vicky's and cheese that my husband just brought me. What is it in cheese? What? 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 Bis biscuits and cheese and crackers and. Nice. I think he's afraid that I'm going to melt away to nothing. Nice. <laughs> okay. Wish my wife would take me something over here for a little snack. Oh, she said I won't melt. <laughs> She said, I won't melt away. All right, Tamara, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, you want religious? I'm going to give you religious. I have. Okay. This one was a cross that I had shown earlier. And I'm asking five dollars for these. Bye bye, Tamara. Thank you. And this is 18 inch with a spring clasp. That's for the cross. The crucifix is 24 inch with a toggle. I have an 18 inch crucifix on wood with a spring clasp. Which way am I going? This way. There we go. Um, then I have a silver 16 inch crucifix. In the back of it, it says France. And this one is just plain on both sides but this one is on wood and then let's see then I have these fish earrings that everybody seems to be going nuts about and I if you like the earrings Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could make ten other pair. The earrings, I'll do it two dollars a piece. That's the fish with the cross Christian symbol. And then the other are crosses and crucifixes. And those would be five dollars. Anybody interested? Let's see, I'll bring it closer. That one's this one. And then that one. You have Melissa in at five. Melissa's in at five. Okay. I think I know Melissa's already got the the earrings and the bracelet. Am I right, Melissa? You got Carmen in at six. And would anybody be interested in a rosary? And it says on it KFC, which is Knights of Columbus. Here we go. With the rosaries. Yes. Ooh, I'm glad I threw it in.
Yeah. So we're sitting at six. Any advances? No, not KFC. <laughs> K of C, which is Knights of Columbus. It's a group that the Catholic Church has for men. My father was a knight, grand knight. But, all right, Melissa Cape is in at seven. We're looking for eight. Buyer's choice. Got Melissa at seven. Any advance over seven on your choice of crosses? Carmen's out. Anyone else? Start calling it to Melissa. Melissa at seven. Going once to Melissa at seven for your choice. Going twice to Melissa. Last and final call. To Melissa, which one and ones would you like, Melissa? We have one. Let me do it this way. One, two, three, four, five. The rosaries. Gold tone on my left. On your left. On your left. Which would mean number one? Is it number? Wooden, she says wooden one. Melissa, which one is the gold tone one and the rosary? All right. So which one is the wooden? Are you talking about right. the, the big gold, the big um, golden one? This one or that one? This one. I don't know if it is that one. Yes, yes number, number one. one. Okay. Yes. So number one, the rosary. And the wooden one. And the wooden one, okay. And would anyone else like any of the other two for $7? That's that one, that one, and that one. All right, we'll call this. All right. Silver crucifix one. We'll call this gold cross two. And we'll call that crucifix three. Anybody else like one for $7? going to pass on that. If you change your mind, let me know. And would anyone like a pair of these earrings for $2? The Christian fish, fish, fish earrings, they're hooks. And a hush comes over the audience. Well, I can always, I can if, make 10 more pair. <laughs> if you like it, please just type in the chat. Okay. I love my earrings. Melissa Cape says, cool. All right. I am going to do my okay. last lot. Okay. Um, you're going to put one that, together? Um, I can, if you want okay. me to. All right. Only if what you is, want. What is anybody looking for? Earrings, necklace, bracelet, rings. Type it in the chat. I know um, the lag is 
the lag's a little worse now as the time gets later. Yeah, it is terrible. Lego man's looking for rings. Do you have rings? You haven't showed any rings. Ring. I have. I oh, have you rings. Did. You did. You yeah, did I show. did show rings. All right. So we'll do that for your last one. I can. I think I already showed these. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I remember. Yep. Yep. All okay. Right. And Carmen, Carmen says rings too. So if you can come up, <clears throat> excuse me, come up with rings, we'll do that. Sure. I will for my last and final show. All righty. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do my last lot. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Don't forget uh, Friday. I'm doing a pop culture um, auction. And um, sign up for my email. All you got to do is email me. Say, hey, Paul, put me on. Uh, I'm going to do, I have a bunch of graphic tees. I'm going to do this one. These are all brand new. This one is an extra large Fruit of the Loom. Sorry, I'm already taken by a sexy and crazy girl. She was blah, 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 blah. Brand new, extra large. Going to start it at $2. How is that? Graphic tees, brand spanking new, $2 start. All right, Melissa, thank you. She put her email in the... Um, no, I have your information, Melissa, cool. from before. And I probably tomorrow afternoon, maybe tomorrow night or Friday, um, I'll send invoices out. All right. Thank you. We got Thank Eagle you Heart. Everyone. All right. We have Eagle Heart at two. Any advance over two? Got Eagle Heart sales at two. Looking for an advance. Two. Looking for three. We'll go to three. I'll go to a dollar increments under ten. We got two dollars looking for three for the extra large. Brand new, heavy duty cotton, extra large, Eagle Heart sales at two dollars. Any advance? I'm gonna give it a ten second countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guys are going to miss out because I just sold this one to Eagle Heart Sales. For $2. How's that? Definitely going to get some good reseller action on this. But hey, let's, um, let's do this one. All right. This is a... 3x brand new Las Vegas Raiders t shirt 3x brand new Las Vegas Raiders t shirt. I'm going to start this at two. Oh, wait a minute. I can't be certain, but it looks like it glows in the dark. 3x. You got Eagle Heart at two. These are brand new shirts, everybody. Brand spanking new. Let me just see if this will glow in the dark. Hold it up to the light. Nope. But it is shimmery to the light. Las Vegas Raiders 3X. We got Eagle Heart Sales in at two. Anybody want to come in at three? Brand new shirt. Brand new t shirt. Brand spanking new. Anybody else? All right, I'm going to call it and do a 10-second count. 10, 
5, this would fit me, 4, 3, 2, 1, you're sold to Eagle Heart Sales, thank you, all right, Carol, you ready? Yeah, I am, let's see. I have this yellow rose and it depends on how you wear it. If you want to squeeze those in but right now, the way that it is, there we go. It's like a nine and a half. This one is adjustable. but it has, it opens, I know it does, there we go, and it has perfume on the inside, and it smells so nice, with pearls, and then I have a woman's, Army core with a ruby stone. Wow. And that's a size eight. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Women's army core. Yeah. Go for it. And I have this green stone, which is very unique. Yes, and that sure. is a size eight. These are all costume jewelry. And this one is really different. It's stretchable. And it's a bow with little rhinestones on it. So it can be really any size you want. Right now, the way that it is, Without stretch, it's like a size eight. Three dollars choice. Anybody? Three dollar Lego man's in for three. Anyone in for four? You get choice. Buyer's choice. So we have I should put it on the other hand because uh, <laughs> there we go. The Army Corps, the green one, the perfume one, and then the yellow one. Anyone in for four? You get Lego Man in the three looking for an advance for a choice on the ring. Any advance? I'm going to start calling it to Lego Man. Is the Army Corps. I think the perfume ring is an Avon ring. It probably is. Is the Army Corps gold? I have a tester, but it doesn't say, and I'm not sure. I just got the tester kit in, and I have to look up. There's no markings on the inside. No, let me let me look at it with my.
Oh, wait a minute. What does that say? And Texas Val says, is there a date on the Army Corps ring? Hmm. Might have found a gem here. No, it doesn't look like it. But I'm trying to read what's on the inside and because my eyes are so bad. Coming in with the heavy duty equipment. Oh boy. It okay. It says 18 carat gold electroplated. Ah, okay. I guess those were heavy duty. Hmm? I said, I guess those were heavy duty. Yeah. I have to use something like that when I do the technical jewelry. So Texas Val, no um, date. And Cindy, 18 karat gold plated. Sourced, I never got an email from you. I still have the bag. I didn't sell it, but I never got an email from you. All right, we got Lego Man. In for gonna, three. <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to call it to Lego Man going once. Going twice to Lego Man for three dollars. I'm going scuba diving. No, I'm looking for pearls and diamonds and. Okay, last and final call to Lego Man for ten, three dollars. Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. Thank you. Which one or ones would you like, Lego Man? Army one. And could you add, and could you add the green stone one from the ring lot before? Oh. Yeah, for three dollars. Yep. The green stone one from the lot before. This one? Is that the one Lego Man? Or was it? I think that's the only other green one. Yep, you said yes. Yep. Okay. Excellent. So Lego. Okay. All righty then. Does anyone else want for three dollars? Yes, Cindy. Why? Yes, it is. Would anyone else like for three dollars any one of the others? Put your email in the in the chat again, um, Carol. Okay. Too, so they have it. What is your email unless Paul can send my info? She just well, put her I, email. She I just put her email problem. right in there, Lego man. But thank I just you. Put it in. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, this was good. This was great. Um, Anyone else want any of the other rings for three dollars? Okay. We'll pass. All righty. Cool. Thank you, everyone. This was yes. great. Thank you. Thank you, Carol, for coming in. Thank you. This was fun. I love doing auctions. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. It is definitely different. Yes, it is. I've been telling all my friends. Cool. And well, I sent a link at the beginning of the night on hopefully some of people would... Check us out. Yeah. Um, make sure you subscribe 
so you know when we go back on so you should subscribe to everybody um each other helps everybody grow to their youtube channels and their facebook become facebook friends and a lot of people are doing a lot on facebook lately also but i have uh, subscriptions right yep yeah i think i do i think i've got three yep <laughs> I'm a newbie. Yep, but definitely um, make sure you subscribe. You hit the bell and hit all. That way you know when we go back on. I don't think I'm going to go back on tonight. There's so many others on tonight. Ever since C19 hit, it's like more and more and more people are coming on and doing this. What's um, C19? COVID. The, oh. vi the virus. Yeah. Uh, so thank you again. And don't forget Friday, I'll be on with pop culture and, um, get on my email list. Cause I have inventory lab in another week. Thank you source. I appreciate it. Yep. I have inventory lab coming on for a two day. This is going to start my show again. So it'll be on for a two day show to tell everybody how to use inventory lab. So you can start listing on Amazon the easy way. And then uh, I have other guests coming on too. So thanks. Be safe. And be happy. Be happy. Be and positive. We will... And be healthy. Yep. And we will talk to everybody later. Bye. Thank you, everyone.